Welcome to the largest pre-Columbian site in the Americas, the city of Teotihuacan. Are you ready? Like you soon? There you go. We are on the Alley of the Dead in Teotihuacan. <laughs> Teotihuacan is the city of the gods, or where the man's becoming gods. We are walking on the Alley of the Dead towards the largest pyramid, that is the Pyramid of the Sun. We heard this name Teotihuacan, but apparently it's an Aztec name. Uh, the original name is still not known. And we are starting the first steps up and down towards the Pyramid of the Sun. And you know David said that this is the city where men become gods? Well, I think women as well, because the primary god is actually a goddess. The goddess depicted as a spider, and uh, there are more gods, like the one for the vegetation, the rain, the spring, and uh, of course they had a lot of gods. And like many other Asian cities, they were sacrificing people and animals here. As we walk towards the Pyramid of the Sun, we are passing through some squares like this behind me. Quite interesting. Who knows what was there? And apparently this city was built by volcanic rocks. They are not simple stones. It's very nice to walk here. Everything is green because we are now in the rainy season. Not like in Montalba when was everything dry and crazy hot. Not sure if we would be able to go up, but it will be interesting to see because um, at least in Monte Alban, we could go up, even though it was still like pandemic, even now we still have the pandemic going on. So we will find out. And more and more squares like this. We pass one and there is another one, and there is another one. Around 500 common area, the city was at its peak. Between 120 and 200,000 people they were living here and it was considered one of the biggest cities in the world at that time. Yeah, I know you guys uh, are curious about the sacrifices like we were saying before here around the pyramids in this city they used to do sacrifices and not only humans. But also they found a lot of animals, pumas, jaguars and even eagles and you can hear some eagle sound they are imitating just right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are doing it right now. They have these whistles that are able to um, replicate uh, the sound of a cat, like jaguars, like hisu. There you go. <laughs> and um, the eagle as well. We have a very bad news. <laughs> Looks like we cannot go up because it's closed. In the past, there was a temple as well on the top of the pyramid. <laughs> we are a bit disappointed because the museum here is closed. We wanted to check it out, but it's not possible. But uh, most of the artifacts like uh, pottery or sculptures can be found uh, at the Anthropologic uh, Museum in uh, Mexico City. But still, outside the museum here in Teotihuacan, we can see a bit of sculptures and this one, for example, is just like a canal for the water, because they were very smart and this was just used to canalize the water for farming. And this one is supposed to be like a man holding a, like a recipient where they were like burning things for the god of fire. Here you can see like a flower with four petals. Apparently is uh, related to the four rhombus of the universe. This culture is made of volcanic rocks, but not everything here is made of volcanic rocks. Uh, we saw the pyramids, they are made also by sand. Uh, lime as well mixed together and uh, other things as well probably used for holding the sacred uh, fire and this one looks like is the head of the lizard and there is another one on the other side a bit bigger and here we have some head of jaguars they don't look like in my opinion they are pretty ruined but um, yeah they were used as a decoration and the jaguar symbols is related to rain, astronomy and the universe but also is a symbol of power so 
It was like a symbol uh, connected to the governors. And here is written, this is the head of a snake, which is related to agriculture. And now we are walking uh, around uh, the Pyramid of the Sun. But uh, another fun fact for you, apparently Teotihuacan was a very wealthy city and it had the monopoly of the obsidian stone. They were exporting obsidian tools, dart and spearheads. The most important deposit in Mesoamerica was located just near the city. Now we went around the Pyramid of the Sun, but we forgot to tell you that is about 66 meter high. So you should have a nice view up, but it's closed. We are walking towards the Pyramid of the Moon, which is 43 meter, 140 feet. Pretty high as well. And you know we were saying that uh, uh, Teotihuacan had the monopoly of the obsidian stone. Well, they were also very good exporters uh, for luxury goods, such as the ceramic, pottery, cotton, and my favorite, cocoa. Here we are at the Pyramid of the Moon, and I have to say that I like it better than the Pyramid of the Sun, because it reminds us of Monte Alban, uh, since it has all of these uh, platforms uh, all around. It, you know, it gives you the feeling of magnificence. And even the palace is closed. I think it would have been nice because I can see uh, like uh, corridors and you can enter and explore stuff. But that's how it goes. We can just see a little bit uh, this kind of snake and uh, the terrace of the palace. And also we wanted to tell you how we got here. Yeah, it's quite important. So we took a local bus to the Mexico Terminal North. When you enter at the Terminal North, eh, just take the left and go all the way down. One of the last one is number seven. It says Teotihuacan bus with like the blue pyramid. And it costs 52 pesos per person one way. But also you can buy already the return one. So it's easier. 40 kilometers. Uh, at some point it will take the highway, so it's not gonna take too long. And once you are here... The entrance is 80 pesos and you can pay only by cash. It was a big surprise for us. Because it's a very popular site, one of the most visited in Mexico. So remember, only cash and for the ticket bus too. So we are gonna close the video here. Let us know in the comments if you have ever been to Teotihuacan. <laughs> okay, I will never be able to say it properly. Uh, let us know if you have been here. And if you haven't, let us know after this video if you would come here and visit this famous site. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the like button. It always helps. David, look how pretty these flowers are. Yellow, they are everywhere.